she's a person very loving and in all of her endeavors was very nice and she's a person let me see if she loved cooking she used to love cooking especially um cuckoo i would say <laughs> that she loved cuckoo and she always um referred to god and in her ways she acknowledged god and she always is a hint a song that she uh, the verse of Sorry. Scripture passes in the Bible, Psalms 34, that if we begin to if we begin to say that she can say it down to verse eight on her own. And but she is very quiet. She work very hard. As she do um, work, do labor work, she do <laughs> she is responding to some, some of her own. She says she do all kind of work, mm. but otherwise than that there, I can see my mom is very, very quiet. She loves people. But I, I wanted to make the point, ma'am, that um, I've known the Edwards family for many years, particularly Levadney and Ruben, but I would not have known the daughter who lived overseas, and, uh, and it is a privilege to be here today to celebrate with her on her hundredth birthday, knowing that she is a woman who toiled day and night to help to build this wonderful, safe country that we are in. And I pray that God will continue to strengthen her. It was no easy task working in the plantation for so many years and raising her children and not relying on the state or anyone because she had that inclination to want to work and to achieve through that hard work and dedication that we know has been a pillar of us in our society. And she has raised these wonderful children who have also played their mark. Levadney would have worked in school meals for many, many years again, serving Barbados. And of course, she would have served Reverend Paris, <laughs> as well as, as her son, Ruben, who is one of the best carpenters and, and, and skilled workers you could ever want. So here we are in St. Thomas with still wonderful people. Our society is one that is built on the shoulders of our centenarians and other senior citizens, and of course generations have, have gone before them, and therefore we are thankful for this privilege this morning, for yet another centenarian to be in the parish of St. Thomas. Ma'am, I can tell you every district, from the time I came out where we have sent, sent, had centenarians, and it says to me that this is the most wonderful parish to be in, ma'am. And, and so I want to thank all persons who would have played a life, a role, in the life of Miss Edwards and her family, this entire village of Dunscombe and the surrounding communities. She has always been the pillar of strength.